This is video number three, MCAT, Merit and Excellence type questions. Uh, I am getting into question number 33. That's my sort of numbering system, uh, last but one. Uh, A and B are two consecutive numbers, so the numbers which follow each other without gaps, for example, three and four, are two consecutive numbers. Uh, now, to generalize, so we got to go like this. A, if n is one of the numbers, the consecutive number which is greater than n is n plus 1. That's another example. That's a generalized example. Now we got to understand the difference between odd numbers, even numbers. I hope everyone understands it. And one other condition which is given is b is greater than a. So b is greater than a. Uh, and also given C equals B over A uh, minus A over B. Make C the subject of the formula, which the question didn't say it like that. I interpreted, I understood the question. So you got to understand the question in terms of A. So just making C the subject is not going to be sufficient. Uh, well, the right-hand side of the equation C equals blah, blah, blah. It should be in terms of A. And then finally, there is a second part of the question where you got to explain whether uh, the top expression is always going to give you an even number and the bottom expression is always going to give you the odd number. But I figured out, I, I may be wrong, that this should be the inverse of what the question said. Uh, we'll talk about that later on. OK, let's begin. So the first thing we got to do is we know something. B equals A plus 1 since they are consecutive numbers. So uh, we know the relationship between B and A. OK, and the given thing is B over A minus A over B. So I'm going to replace, I'm going to substitute B by this one, A plus 1, because I know B is the same thing as A plus 1 divided by A minus A, A plus 1. Uh, now, remember, uh, this problem can be solved in so many different ways. Uh, sometimes my ways are maybe too complicated to the young people, but let me try it. Okay, so I go for highest common factor, which is multiplying this two, multiplying this two. And then cross multiplying uh, gives you A plus one squared minus A squared. That's my squared, sorry. Okay, now you've got to do lots of expanding. So subdivide the area. And a plus 1 squared means a plus 1 times a plus 1. And if you expand it, that will give you a squared plus 2a plus 1. Uh, uh, work it out by yourself. That will be the thing. And if I expand a lots of a plus 1, that will give me a squared plus a. So I am going to use those interim values, which is a squared plus 2a plus 1 minus a squared that's minus a squared, divide that by a squared plus a. Right? 
now this to escort cancels out you are left with 2a plus 1 and s squared plus a right uh, so I think we finally made see the subject of the formula and on the right hand side there is no other variable but a so we have linked up uh, C variable C with A and we made the C the subject of the formula now with the second part let's look at let's try the top expression 2a plus 1 if a is 1 if a is 1 that's two lots of so that'll be 3 if a is 2 that'll be 5 if a is 3 so it looks like the uh, looking at the pattern it's going to be odd numbers always odd numbers and if you look at the bottom one okay so you are adding any kind of number with a squared number so what is going to happen Okay, so if I try 1, 1 squared plus 1 is 2. 2 squared is 4 plus 2, 6. So it looks like these are always going to be even numbers. And uh, you can investigate further. I leave it up to you. I'll stop there.